at the airport at six o'clock. Sends our bags. <laughs> now we have a three hour wait until the plane leaves. Feels a bit funny to uh, to anticipate waiting for a 13 hour flight, but we're just <laughs> going to be waiting for 13 more hours. The ladder onto the plane. he was jet lagged so we had a bit of an hour in the night before Vincent went to sleep again and now we're off on a big adventure we're going to find some breakfast are you enjoying breakfast Vincent? what are you eating? we love eating a uh, prana though we're just getting something to eat we're going to take it back to the hotel room riding some more trains hope to see some more trains just some casual monkeys. <laughs> Vincent has been doing this the whole time in the museum here. I think he likes the sound of the reverb. Huh? We're heading to go and do some nerd things, Vincent. Yeah. National Rail Museum. Where are we gonna go? This is an interesting steam engine. It's got no collected in the pressure vessel from a static boiler. <laughs> so they used it in areas where they couldn't risk the inspection fire. I keep pressing the change camera angle instead of the record video. Oh. Wrong train, I thought it was a toy train coming around. It turns out it was just a regular train. <laughs> the monorail with uh, balancing wheels. This is the first locomotive to have been built in India. It's pretty cool. Check out what we stumbled across earlier. New Zealand High Commission. Well, we'll know where to go when they find me. This is the New Delhi train station. Very close to our hotel. Vincent's getting a mangi. Do you think we overordered? Yeah, yeah, we almost overordered, way too overordered. Yeah, suits you, Vincent. It's a nice hat. Yeah? Spice market, yeah? Yeah. But the whole street is the spice market. Yeah, yeah. This is where the storage happens. Should we give you back to the, your people, Vincent? You're getting to need your pacifiers, huh? We're in the wedding shopping district. What's this here, Brett? Backpackers. Had you stayed at five years ago? Yeah. Hey, Brett. What do you got there? I have a What do you got there? The best pop I've ever had. Got some paratha. The methane one and uh, the muli one, which is 
radish, white radish. No, yeah, you didn't quite get there. Vincent's ready for breakfast at Cafe Lota. What did you find on the menu, Jay? Oh, it doesn't do I haven't had that in a very long time. And uh, the Kuru. Before we left for India, we stopped drinking, or at least I stopped drinking coffee <laughs> to avoid the caffeine headaches. And uh, Brit's maybe only gone a couple of days or so before having another coffee. This is another co coke and berry drink as well. So this time there's more of a savory one with um, uh, cumin. Uh, trying to do an audio tour of the Crafts Museum. But Vincent can't keep his mouth shut, which is making it literally impossible. I cannot hear anything. We're going off plan. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking the itinerary. We're so loose. We saw an event with free entry for uh, uh, Drive regional and textiles foods. and culture and food. That's how I got Jake. It's such an incredibly big building. Like a aircraft hangar warehouse kind of thing. It's a pretty big operation. They've opened up all six of the convention centre halls into one big thing. Jacob, where are we? <laughs> I can send you a confidence with that one. Archaeological excavations. What's this? A step well. I bet you they made the girls get the ball. Yeah, they made it under a ceiling there so that's stuff wouldn't contaminate the well so much. It's 22 meters down there. When I was looking through all your old videos, all of them kind of look grainy like they say. Eh? I thought it might have just been like an artifact of your phone or, or the light, but nope, it's just the smog. Where are we eating, Jacob? Parallel House Canteen. What do you got there, Vincent? So they've got This is Mumbai Central Station. We're off the train and we're on our way. We're turning right, aren't we? Yeah, I think I said right. Did I say left? You said right. What are you eating, Jacob? Parfaji. Uh, what is Parfaji? Yes, please. My best description for it is it's the Indian equivalent of a sticky joke. Yeah, kind of. Why do you like it so much? It's just yummy. Does it taste the same as the one you make at home? Uh, well, this has been a learning experience. Waiting for the train to Pune now. It's not here yet. Oh, wait. Look at how far we climbed for it without even trying.
trying some of the local soft drink, as well as some coffee. Enjoying your lunch, Vincent? Enjoying your lunch, Daddy. <laughs> what is it? Why don't you know? Because we've we got lunch through a series of charades. <laughs> this is a graph which has malt and apple juice that's so been fermented, and then they um, brew it further with some mangoes as well. We're going to go and check out Aga Khan Palace here in Pune. This is where Gandhi stayed for a while, imprisoned. imprisoned here for a while. Did he end up dying here or was that his associates? Recommended by Kalyani. Going to buy some fruit to eat. Vincent is thoroughly enjoying this book. Um, it was a museum. The guy who basically collected a bunch of artifacts. <laughs> no, I reckon the cooking utensils were more or less interesting. The Brits have been doing a lot of uh, sari and lahenga shopping where they can't take photos in there, so it's been a bit of a video silence. But now we're going to go and have a look at Joshi's Museum of Miniature Railways. Riding the Pune Metro. It was only just been built recently. We're out for dinner at a fancy restaurant and Vincent has fallen asleep. To be fair, the fancy restaurant in the also. Yeah. Vincent's been at pork shop for the past few hours. We're going to go and visit uh, Lonavala Caves. Parla Caves. Caves in Lonavala. Um, we weren't able to drop our bags off at the coat room as we didn't have a lock for the bags. Yeah, but now we've got a, another driver for the whole day today. So we can look after our bags. I mean, we had to find something anyway. We're exploring Bajra Caves, which are more rock formations that have been cut out. It's a Buddhist temple. Yeah, this is Lion's Point. F and gut. That's what Brit's all about every day, right? F and gut. <laughs> We're about to go on a boat trip to Alexander Island in the middle of the harbour.
These are some of the Elephanta Caves. It's a big system of them. The exit. We're at a very fancy restaurant in Mumbai. And mercifully, Vincent has fallen asleep. Vincent's being classified by the postcards. I'm being classified by the DM. What did you give him? A tomato? <laughs> Was that spicy? <laughs> I dare a baddie fish, seafood biryani. What's this one you got here? Uh, I can't remember now. Uh, Car it was Carol transport tour of India. We are at the Allura Caves to do some more caving here just uh, about 40 minutes out of Rangabad. Cave 12 up on the third story of the caves. We have to go up a few flights of stairs to get up here. It's the biggest rooms as well. These caves are different again, the Jain caves. Uh, I think Shadi clued us onto this religion 
uh, back in Melbourne because they don't eat food that came from the ground, so no onion or garlic, which is uh, incidentally low FODMAP. This one is quite intricate. Just hit my head on that. It's a rabbit warren in here. I think we're going down this way. We'll need a torch for this. Or not. It's pretty cool.
I'm going to go back down again, Vincent. You're gonna go and sort that out downstairs now.
riding the Mumbai Metro. Actually, this is no, these are just the local trains. Yeah, it's the Still haven't quite finished the Metro here yet. Yeah.